Style of Fight Radio, Nicki Minaj and Starships. Hello, good morning, welcome along to the show. It is Paul and Haley here at Isle of Wight Radio and we are getting ourselves ready for today's headline or hearsay. Now, uh, there was a shock win on uh, Friday. Was it Friday? Friday. No. Uh, Thursday. 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 Yeah, sh- Lauren, she was good. She was very good. She was good. I mean, no, Sorry, dis- no disrespect to you, Jamie. Uh, thanks. No pressure. No. no. So this is the way it works. Three stories. Some could be made up. Some could be real, but slightly bizarre. Let's start a brand new week and let's play Headline or Hearsay. Check the sell-by date and think before you donate. That's the message from a food bank that helps people in financial crisis. A tin of soup complete with its 10D price tag has been handed in in Wales at least 46 years late. The Heinz kidney soup was originally sold pre-1971 decimalisation and had been languishing in a cupboard ever since. (laughs) Headline or hearsay. (laughs) See, what does the D stand for? I don't know. Is it... Is it... uh, it's something to do with shillings and pence, isn't it? Yeah, I think it does. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. So this tin's been handed in. What flavour did you say? Kidney? Yep. A kidney soup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I don't even like tomato, really. Oh, I'm I don't s- mind I'm tomato. Not, uh, this time of year, I feel pressured into liking soup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> soup and bread. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh, nearly bonfire night. Time for soup and bread. I'm like, I don't yeah. really like it, but all right then. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It goes back to uh, going to a bonfire party when I was uh, very young and being handed some soup in a polystyrene cup and taking yeah. a sip and burning the inside of my mouth. Every single time. Every Do single time. Soup, I roof of your mouth. Done. I thought I'd make a chicken soup once and I blended it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Big. Oh. I've never made a chicken soup since. You're no dealer, are you? <laughs> no. no. So, are we going headline or hearsay? Let's, I think that's a headline. Let's have a look on uh, Facebook, see uh, see what kind of messages we're getting. Have you got Facebook? Yes. Uh, so we can have a quick look. So we've got David, he's saying headline. Louise Flood is saying definitely a headline. Jade Robertson saying morning and a headline. So, uh... Susan Fielder, she's saying headline. Okay, so quite a few headlines this morning. Kirk yes. in Huddersfield as well. Wow, listening. okay. To be fair, I know I say this every time, but Huddersfield. I've never been to Huddersfield. Have you been to Huddersfield? I don't think I have, no. Been to Huddersfield? I've never been to Huddersfield. No, never it's like the, North Summer, isn't it? Never, never got the urge to go to Huddersfield. No. Where are you going this for a holiday? Going to Huddersfield. Anyway, uh, are we going headline or hearsay? Headline. We're going headline. Is it headline or is it hearsay, Jamie? It is a headline, Yay. correct. It is a There we go. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Let's do it. Let's play headline or hearsay. Round two on Isle of Wight Radio. It's claimed the average 40-something spends 15.5% of their time at DIY shops. It's third on the list of weekend activities behind regular visits to the local dump, which account for 22.3. Top of the list is, according to the recent report by Lad Bible, playing games consoles. That's a whopping average of 37.8%. Headline or hearsay? I'm going to need to take a steer from... um, Excuse me? From Facebook here. Um, I went to the dump again yesterday. (laughs) Did you? I went on Saturday. Oh, did you? Yeah. I didn't. I got rid of all my black bags. Yeah, I got rid of those. You, you can put anything in those. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You no, start. you can't. No, no you, no, you can't. It's my non-recyclable items. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. I'm I'm helping out the curb side by driving it there myself. <laughs> I had to drive with the windows open. Oh. Well, it's not oh. nice, oh. uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lovely. Uh, Keith thinks it's headline. Emma says headline this morning. Elizabeth says headline. Uh, Kirk says, so you should try going to Huddersfield and thinks it's hearsay. I'm, go- I'm going to go. I'm going to try Huddersfield. Good. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not this week, but at some point. Uh, Julie says headline. Emma Lawrence says headline. Are we going headline or hearsay? I think based on what our patterns are at the weekend, I definitely think that is true. Susan says headline as well. Of them. Yeah. David, headline. The general consensus is definitely a headline. headline. So let's go 
with headline. Is it headline or hearsay, Jamie? It's hearsay. Oh. No. Correct. I yeah. think you've adapted that slightly, and it's the age range. Look, it's either headline or hearsay. <laughs> or, or, no, you, you can't. You can't take a true story and then just just change a little bit. Oh, of it. No, we're changing the rules, are we? <laughs> Is that what you've done? Trust me, the news... Is that you what you've done? No, just I didn't do these, actually, I'll be honest. These <laughs> ones aren't mine. I can't take credit for these. Okay. okay. All right. Well, all right. It's all to play for with this one, then. Let's do it. Headline or hearsay, final round. A man says a vision from God prompted him to build a huge prayer house in the shape of a dove. He ended up with a huge structure shaped like a chicken, though, instead. If you're popping to Indonesia for your holidays, take a detour to Mangalang in Java. It's abandoned now, but it still attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. Headline or hearsay? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't really understand that. Basically, a, a man says that a vision from God prompted him to build a huge prayer house, and it was supposed to be in the shape of a dove. It ended up being looking like a chicken. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Okay, this is the kind of thing I would do. Yeah. <laughs> I start off with the best of intentions and then just kind of get a little bit like, oh, yeah. it'll be fine. It's like if I do a sketch, I just start off thinking it's going to be one thing. It's going to be a portrait. <laughs> and then I look at it and think, ah, it doesn't look anything like a horse. Um, I'll put a curly tail on it. It's a great pig. <laughs> put some wheels on it. Yeah. It's a great car. Yeah. <laughs> just me then? Okay. No, uh, I do as well. So what do you think? Uh... Louise says uh, headline this morning. Uh, Keith thinks it's headline as well. There's quite a few headlines coming in. Mm, I think it could be a headline as well. <clears throat> Are we going to go with headline? Yeah, I think headline. Jamie's looking as if to say, go on, do that. Okay, we're going with headline. Headline. The, uh, the dove that now looks like a chicken. Is it headline or hearsay, Jamie? It's a headline. Yeah. Yay. So. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. To be honest, oh, I, I... See what you've done there. Yeah, yeah. I do like that. <laughs> to be totally honest, I had no idea with that one. So, uh, well well done. Yeah, well done. Thanks, Facebookers. Yeah. Always Jamie, like you're really not good at this. Look, oh, come I'm on. So ple I'm so pleased that Laura, Lauren's not on every day. Well, yeah. she, Lauren had Facebook. She managed to she managed to <laughs> fool you everyone. Wait tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have some toughies. I'm gonna spend all afternoon doing these now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? Headline or hearsay back, same time, same place on uh, Facebook and of course on your radio. Uh, I tell you what, let's get some more tunes on, shall we? No limit in the sky that I won't fly. Then we'll have the very latest travel and headlines for you next. Oh, man, it's 